Donkey's Barbecue. Good eats and satisfying meats. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do some onion bombs today. I'm going to take ground beef, season it up, hollow out an onion. These are uh, sweet onions. They're not Vidalia's, but the problem I'm having is that they're really short. So it's hard not to go through. But basically, take this inside. Got a decent amount in there out. I'm going to season up some ground beef, stuff them in there, wrap them with bacon, smoke them, throw some barbecue sauce on the top, throw some cheese on the top, smoke them some more. So that's what's going down today. Um, I'll go through the recipe here in a minute, and I'm going to finish hollowing out six of these bad boys. All right, we've got five of these done. We're just going to do five tonight. This is what I used here, jalapeno core. Kind of go in, just kind of go around, just don't go too deep, you don't want to put a hole in the bottom. Knife, first cut around here, and then I go sideways. Then I use the jalapeno core to loosen everything else up, and then the spoon, and you scrape out. It's hard to see, but there you go. Should be about the same size as a as a burger patty that's what i'm looking for so i'm gonna go ahead and mix that meat up put it in the bowl about a pound probably about a pound in these pound and a half maybe season that meat up and uh we'll be back all right we've got two pounds of ground beef we're gonna throw in you know i think i'm gonna use some fresh garlic instead of this throw in some garlic um i always use ginger a little bit of ginger uh, probably about uh, two tablespoon, two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of black pepper, um, teaspoon of ginger. We're going to go ahead and throw in some Worcestershire sauce. Um, I always use that. I'm going to put an egg in this. I'm going to put a little spice in here. I'm going to use some meat church I've got left over, holy voodoo, just for a little bit of kick. Um, and I'm actually going to put a little bit of barbecue sauce in this, probably um, bone sucking sauce. I want it a little bit sweet. So there we go. I'm gonna mix that all up. All right, so as I said, a little bit of barbecue sauce, uh, some holy voodoo, salt, pepper, ginger, garlic. Get your hands in here, mix this up real good. And what we're gonna do, I even put an egg in here. Now, most of the time, most people would use breadcrumbs. Um, we are a gluten-free family as I've said, so no breadcrumbs, but we can use some gluten-free bread and mix that up. Um, I don't usually see a need for it with this. It's more of a hamburger type dish. So I'm gonna grab a nice big, kind of make a meatball with it. Take the onion, slap it right in there. And we wanna really fill in, try and get, make sure we get all those holes in there. Push that down, I want it you know, nice and snug. Um, this doesn't need to be loose. So there we go. Just about like that. What I'll do, throw these on the smoker at 225. Um, and at the end, I'll brush it with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Go ahead and throw some cheese on there to melt that up. But that's it. That's the bomb. All right, I forgot something. One, I didn't put mushrooms in my meat. I uh, was distracted and didn't do it. Uh, two, I forgot to put the bacon on and show you that. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of barbecue sauce and I rub the bacon with the barbecue sauce. And we're even gonna put a little bit of flavor on there. Dump that barbecue sauce into a bowl so you don't contaminate things. Um, it's a really good idea too, to warm it up. It spreads a lot easier. So I'm gonna spread all that barbecue sauce out, put a little bit of rub on that bacon, and I'm gonna bacon wrap those onions, and we'll see what it looks like before we put it on. All right, there we go, all set. I put a little bit of extra rub on the top, just a little sprinkle. Yeah, looks good. Get that bacon covered. Try to use just two toothpicks. Um, one of them, this one I had to use three, but there we go. Bacon's wrap, a little bit of glaze. That'll go on 
the smoker. I, today I'm going to use the Traeger because it's easy and I'm not going to fire up the big one. Um, got a big bag of leftover onions for tomorrow night's dinner. Sauteed onions, mushrooms. I forgot to put the mushrooms in here, so I'm going to use it tomorrow. There we go. Those go on 225 for about an hour and 45 minutes or so. I'll take the temp. When it hits about 155, I'll pull them, uh, glaze them again, throw some cheese on there, throw them back on for another half hour or so, get a little bit more of that smoky flavor, get it in the cheese, and then we eat. All right, guys, it has been... Uh, let me move this so you can hear me. I think I figured out my mic problem. I keep putting my hand over it. Anyway, um, it's been... 260, 255, 260. Put a little bit more barbecue sauce on it. We have that one. Throw some cheddar cheese on there. And uh, we're going to close this Traeger up. And that's it. We'll see what comes out. I think it's going to be good. All right. All right. I am going to pull these here. Let's see what they look like. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There we go. So we're gonna pull these off, let them rest. Uh, I did it again, sorry about that. We're gonna pull them off, let them rest a few minutes, probably about 10 minutes or so, and we're gonna eat. Uh -huh. Look at that. Uh, just throw them on a foil pan because they're all gooey. So, yeah, those are looking good. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> They came out good. We're resting them up. Lost a little bacon on that one. It pulled apart, but that bacon is crispy. Oh yeah. Gooey, yummy. Can't wait to cut into those bad boys. There it is, all finished up. I think that's keto too, isn't it? Go ahead. Is that keto? Uh, yeah. Keto friendly and diet and all that. So, enjoy, guys.